I'm not paying $53 for a box of Tide, full stop. I will pay $14 to get the same, if not a better laundry soap powder, and I'll never look back. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the difference penny by penny and why it may be critical for your health to make this switch, and we're gonna do it all in five minutes. Now, before you say, no, I just bought this at Walmart and it was $26. That is not the box of Tide that your mom bought for your family when you were six. That is the box that college kids bought when they had to use a community laundry space and they didn't want to haul 14 pounds of detergent around. That is the box that you recognize because that's pretty much all you see on the store shelves now. You've forgotten what an actual box looked like that used to cost 12 to $20 just a few years ago. And if you take just a moment to think that in 10 minutes you can make a laundry soap with actual soap that works just as well instead of being price gouged with a product that has chemicals that are used to make paint varnish, it's basically a no-brainer. And in my opinion, it's almost negligent if you aren't doing this. Now, that might sound a little bit harsh, but a lot of people don't know that the state of New York just last year actually banned Tide Original and a couple of the other common big name brands for having high levels of carcinogen chemicals in their products. And most people don't even think about those chemicals leaching onto their skin because Tide smells so warm and comforting. So when you start to open your eyes to what's going on here, this is some pretty serious stuff. Fortunately, for a fraction of the price, we can make plenty of laundry powder soap that's perfectly safe to use. Now today, I'm making this completely from scratch, which means I've made the soap a few days beforehand, and I'm gonna grind this down into fine shavings. Now to get a perfectly suitable laundry powder, you don't have to make your own soap. If you're on the fly, and you need to make something in minutes, you can grind down a bar of soap that you get from the store, but make sure that you read the label and make sure that it's actually soap and not some block of mass-produced chemical detergent or you're just spinning your wheels backwards. Now in this case, I've made a bar of 100% coconut oil soap and making 100% coconut oil soap is gonna make for a superior laundry soap compared to any other kind of soap that you use. Coconut oil has special properties and that's gonna help with stripping the dirt and the oil out of your clothes more efficiently than other soaps. And I have formulated this soap just a little bit differently than I would with something that you would use on your body, but it's the same ingredients and it's very simple to make. Now to make one pound of coconut oil soap, it's gonna cost you somewhere between three and four dollars. And once your soap has been shaved down, you're gonna add four parts of borax to one part soap. So 64 ounces of borax. And the cost for this is gonna be about $5 and then you're gonna blend in four parts of washing soda. So a 64 ounce box of Arm & Hammer washing soda is gonna cost you another $5. And mix this up all together in a great big container, and the total cost for this is $14, and you've just made nine pounds of laundry soap. This breaks down to $1.50 a pound, which is gonna be about 16 loads of wash. Now compare that to Tide, your carcinogenic chemical detergent, at $3.86 a pound, and you can clearly see why the Tide needs to stay on the store shelves and you need to be making this instead. Because Tide is more than double the cost for something that really isn't improving your quality of life, in my opinion. Now you can get started making this right now and you can have some fresh laundry powder today or you can make it completely from scratch like I did. Now if you're already a soap maker, then I do have a resource for you that will help explain getting into the nuance of why coconut oil is going to make for a better laundry soap and why coconut oil is so important in our toolbox of soap making oils. And if you're a member at Cottage DIY, you can go directly from here to the laundry powder tutorial and that'll explain how to incorporate a soap made with 100% coconut oil into your laundry soap. And this one tutorial is a smaller part of a much bigger tutorial that focuses on coconut oil in soap making overall. And it really explains how you can utilize this in so many ways to get very different types of soap. So if soap making is your sport, then I would recommend checking out lesson 6.11 in the soap making course at Cottage DIY for more detailed intermediate soap making. But of course, if you are new to soap making and you'd like a place to start learning, I do have a full course for beginners ready and waiting for anybody that wants to start soap making and move away from mass produced store-bought chemicals. You can sign up at cottagediy.com for free 
and you can jump right into all the beginner material. When you sign up, select the Kelpie level, and that's just for beginners, and you can use the discount code free Kelpie, and that'll let you access all 30 beginner lessons for free. Now I will be back on live stream. Dates are posted on the calendar at Cottage DIY. If you have a question about anything that you saw here today, post down below and I will answer you directly in the live. See you guys in the next video.